The hearing was hosted by the Parliamentary Standing Committee on Information, Communication, Technology and Innovation. Namibia's ICT sector is not privileged to budget appropriation for capital project as this is mostly the responsibility of network operators and there is insufficient funding for policy development. The director of ICT, Linda Haipinge, says the motion should also consider introducing some tax incentives in the sector to reduce the cost of devices that will allow end users to access internet or Wi-Fi. And I think the biggest issue, if, if should there be any pronunciation that then Wi-Fi should be rolled out throughout the country, we, we have to have a funding models. How is that going to be funded? I mentioned that as from the Ministry of ICT, um, at the directorate, for example, responsible for ICT development, we don't get funding for capital project. It's just operational. So if, if this motion then has to go through, it has to be accompanied by funding models. The Director of National Institute for Educational Development, Dr. Patrick Simalumba, stressed the need to address ICT infrastructure and continuous connectivity in schools. Dr. Simalumba revealed that currently 33% of the schools do not have electricity and 700 others do not have internet connections. In the reality, this connectivity, at times, it's just one computer in the principal's office. In most cases, some settlements, as we know already, they are connected to 3G, 2G. You cannot download NPDF. The bandwidth is too slow. If I was to show you the map, so that connectivity, it's, it's, it's just a number, but the real quality needed for e-learning. It's, it's pathetic. At a school, you cannot connect even four computers. No. He also noted that the implementation of free Wi Fi in schools should be done in a controlled manner to protect learners and teachers from cyber crimes. The motion to provide free Wi Fi in key public places, such as in schools, public transport, and hospitals, among others, was discussed in Parliament earlier this year. Our responsibility here is to ensure that at the end of this engagement, we should come up with an implementable way forward that would eventually create an environment where our youth from underprivileged families can access information using a free Wi-Fi.